We're really excited about plans for the expansion of the museum and the construction of a fourth major building. The fourth building is going to have three galleries and really allow us to expand the story of the Air Force's contribution to the nation's achievements, historical achievements, technological achievements. Three galleries will be the Presidential Aircraft Gallery. We're going to move those Presidential Aircraft that are presently on the base behind the fence onto the main museum complex. We'll also have the Space Gallery. And the Space Gallery, where these satellites will be on exhibit, is also going to house an incredible space shuttle exhibit. We are getting a crew compartment trainer from NASA, uh, which was used by the astronauts for training. And we are going to build out the payload and cargo area of that and create eight our own shuttle. And then the third gallery will tell the story of airlift and air refueling, and it's called the Global Reach Gallery. And the Global Reach Gallery will house such aircraft as the Hanoi Taxi, the plane that brought the first prisoners back from Vietnam. The museum can play an incredible role in inspiring young people to consider careers in aerospace fields or in science and technology fields. And in the fourth building, we'll be expanding the number of offerings uh, in the STEM area. New workshops, new hands-on programs, new professional development programs for teachers, and incredible interactive exhibits. When you think about this space shuttle exhibit and the opportunity to step inside this recreated shaped space shuttle that we will have will be phenomenal for our young people. On behalf of the Board of Managers of the Air Force Museum Foundation, I'd like to thank the Dayton Foundation for this gift. It came at the perfect time. Now we just launched our public campaign. So to have a major gift from the foundation at the start of the campaign is fabulous. It builds momentum and encourages others to step forward. So we cannot thank the foundation enough.